you're looking at tiny mobile game that AI built for me inside the chat window. I did not open an engine, I did not write the code, I just kept talking to the AI till this happened. Let's see how it got there. Hi, I am Larimer Chopin from Geek at Play Studio. I have been experimenting with AI systems called Linguang that can generate a small interactive apps directly from the prompt. You know, I love the snake game. You remember when you have it like long line, you're going around, you eat and you're lying, growing, growing, growing. It's a fun game. So I will say let's recreate this, but let's make it even better because we have a touch phones. Why we need it using buttons, why we don't just put our fingers and drag around the lead our worm in a way we want to do. So the first we'll have this our snake game. So right here it's first description is what need put it inside and let's generate. So it, it seems like generating fine and let's test. Okay, our architecture is work. It's look very nice. Let, let's add something else. Let's go try to go a second iteration. So now I want to just add a little bit more visuals, be sure it's work properly. Just make it more interesting in the colors and everything. Okay, so we'll see it this way. For some reason, just stop working. And it does happen because God executed. But instead me programming what I says, I just type, hey, the game stopped working. It does not start. Okay, and there you go. It's a found the errors and fixed on its own with zero me influence on the code. I actually don't even know the code there. Okay, so let's go this add a second variation. We'll say add the more color smoothness. Okay, there you go. Now I start growing on this game. You know what else? Um, let's add music. Yeah, let's go ahead. Just add another 30 variations. Let's go add music. And here go. And you know what? When you're satisfied with the game, when you like it, be sure you press this arrow key. When you press on the arrow key, then it's a safe and it's going inside your save game. So you can come back anytime and play your games game I want to do something different because a snake is popular game and I'm sure the AI probably know how the game should be working let's make something a little bit more original so what I want to do it's a maybe combine sound arcade and visuals just come by together oh I have a great idea how about this we'll make a some object colorful drop from the top of the screen and on the bottom we'll go catch them and as we catch each one represents sound and by combining selecting different type object we can build our own music and play in the end so kind of like interactive build music with a catching object okay so here's my prompt okay there's our first iterations let's go build it okay take a second there you go okay hey you know what perfect i mean look on this it's work it's catching yeah i mean it, it's precisely so let's go ahead to second iteration maybe add more visuals so they look a little bit more interesting kind of more arcade okay let's go right here we'll put second prompt and there you go okay wow it, i mean look on this it, it's look beautiful i mean seriously it's wow okay the sound is created is not bad, but I think we can make even better sound because it is kind of musical application. So let's go ahead and it says uh, increase polyphony sound, make all this stuff. There you go. Okay. So and let's create. Pff, I love it. Complex on the sound. It's maybe a little bit more tweaking, but it's all way. It's a beautiful video. It's okay. Display. You can build your songs and you can actually create. And remember when you like your game, press that lighting thing so it will save inside um, your folder so you can go back and play again or share with your friends i think it's kind of fun one so in both cases the interesting part is that it isn't ai can make a game at once it's that you can iterate you start with something almost like a sketch then round by round you push it closer and closer to real game better feel better visuals better systems all driven by the prompt i don't know if people need to be afraid of the ai in the games what i see that is a very creative tool that going to change how the prototyping experiment and maybe more people can bring their ideas to the life if you like to see me try more complex mechanics or other genders with lingering let me know in the comments 
I'm Vladimir Chopin from Geeket Play Studio, and thank you for watching.